I have spoken either in this country or in the United States. At first, people had been given to understand wrongly that it was just a question, serious as though that is, of civil war between two different groups. They needed to be informed that it was between communist Serbia, who has taken control both of the army and of the country, and democratic Croatia and Slovenia, both of whom had exercised their right to become independent. I then duly explain that Croatia and Slovenia have no army. They have only got the weapons they can capture and the ones they can get hold of, and they are entitled to a right of self-defense against those who attack them. I said early to uh, people uh, over whom I would have hoped to have had some influence that I thought as the hostilities got worse and worse and more and more Croatians were being killed and massacred that it would have been right to recognize Croatia and Slovenia as independent then we should have been in a position to supply them legally with arms with which to defend themselves and they would have been in very much better position and what is more Serbia would have known the position the world was taking unfortunately that has not happened but there are many many friends of Croatia now the situation is more fully realized the figures of deaths need to be better known in the earlier days I was saying to people there have been over a thousand Croatians murdered or massacred and that is four times as many as we lost in regaining the Falklands and twice as many as the whole of the Allies lost in the Gulf in regaining Kuwait and also that those figures have now gone up and I have just been reliably informed that it is about 15,000 Croatians that is an enormous number fighting for liberty who have been killed and I know from the radio that there are hundreds of thousands of people who've been driven from their homes and the towns and cities leveled and ancient monuments and churches attacked all of these I'm trying to get over to people who when you speak to them are amazed at the situation in face of that there have been many meetings of politicians in the European community many many ceasefires nothing they have done has been effective it has been once to the Security Council and it's difficult to get across the, the awfulness of what is happening there we shall continue because I think now that many many people know the Adriatic coast and that means that they have some kind of personal touch and contact with them but I must make it quite clear in my view the West should be on the side of liberty and democracy and justice and the more we can get home to people the true situation and this is happening in the heart of Europe and that the cries of the Croatian people are not being heard the more we can awaken them to the true position I should say by way of comfort that there are now a number of organizations who are trying to help the Croatians with practical help and I shall continue myself to put their case and put it as forcibly as I can